No, let's get into it. I'm about to give you the expenses, the main expenses that come with this DSP Amazon game that you're on the hook for. Let's get into it. Payroll, I'm gonna say average. Right now, since I lost half my people, it's probably about 30K. But when I get back up, it's, it could be anywhere from 30 to 60K a week, per week. That covers, that covers everybody. My dispatchers, my manager, my CEO, um, all salaries and all hourly employees. So you're looking at anywhere from 30 to 60K a week. That's off anywhere from 20 to 35 routes, 35, 40 routes a day. Do you put yourself on your payroll? Um, yeah, you can put yourself on your payroll. Yeah, I used to, but um, now I just chill. Um, but definitely want to pay yourself as an owner. You can put yourself on your payroll. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're making enough to cover all of that. But yeah, payroll is my biggest expense. It's usually the biggest expense in any business, but you want to make sure you're efficient. You know your numbers. You're not just paying people that's not doing nothing. You want to make sure every dollar gets accounted for in the payroll. And then you want to add, I ask questions. I no longer do payroll, but I ask questions when it looks too high. I'm looking like, nah, what's going on? Well, how many overtime hours did we have? I know the questions to ask intrigue and getting to see why the payroll is what it is but definitely want to pay attention to the payroll you want to learn how to do it you want to make sure you master that and um, it's the most important it keeps your business alive the payroll without paying your employees they all quit on you so make sure you dial in on this and find good help and outsource that if you don't like doing it find somebody to do it there's plenty of companies that'll do your payroll for you um, but yeah you're looking at 30 to 60k minimum on payroll a week next we got insurance I'm gonna say insurance right now, I'm paying about 30,000 a month in insurance, but that covers auto, general liability, and a million dollar cargo insurance policy um, for what, about 30, 40, about 40 vans out there. So that's how much that costs. The insurance is probably 11K for the auto, and then the workers comp is about 5K a week for workers comp. That includes people who get hurt on the job, slip and falls, all that type of stuff sending them to the doctor, medical bills, clearing them to come back to work. So workers comp is about 5K a week. The other one is about 10 to 11K a week. So insurance is 30K. It's a big part of the business, keeping the trucks operating, damages, making sure you're liable, not paying a lot of money. So workers comp, it comes out of your pocket. It's not like a government funded thing. So do people like purposely come here, get a job and then get injured and just collect money? Absolutely. Or is there like a process or something that like is in place to, to limit that or not really, it just happens? Not really, it kind of happens. I've had people who were hurt on another job come here, get hurt, and then try to act like they weren't hurt, like type still. So people use it to get surgeries, to sue, make money. Um, it's pretty scammy, so you kind of kind of watch it, but I have a team called Acuity Risk who handles all that, all my workers comp and auto claims for me, because that's not my strong suit. Anything that's not your strong suit, you need to outsource, but insurance, having good insurance and cover and good rates, is a key because if you don't take care of the claims and stuff, this this bill can skyrocket. I've seen people skyrocket and pay so much money in bills that it put them out of business. So make sure you're taking care of your insurance, you're auditing it, you're staying in compliant, and um, you're handling your business on the front end. Next, let's go to rental vans. Rental vans probably a thousand to twelve hundred. So right now, I just probably got a lot for peak season. So we might be paying. I don't know. 20, maybe 20K a month, 10 to 20K a month in rental vans, easily. Um, but we get reimbursed from them by Amazon, so I'm not really worried, but rentals cost, that's a big part of the fleet. Also, when you break a van, a regular prime van is in the shop, you're gonna need to get a rental van to keep running the same amount of route. So you wanna make sure you have extra bag of vans. These vans do go down. Not saying they go down all the time, but accidents do happen, stuff comes off the road. You're gonna need an extra set of vans to keep you rolling and, and not missing uh, steps and volume. So you wanna have a few rental vans to protect against damages, but it does cost. You will get reimbursed sometimes. It just depends on how you do it, but make sure you got a good rental van, a good fleet man. Shout out to Jacob, keeping our vans rolling, taking back what we don't need. Um, he very in tune in the process, but yeah, rental vans about 10 to 20K easily. Body damage, don't even wanna talk about this. I don't. Last month, I think I might have paid six or eight thousand dollars worth of body damage, but sometimes I pay seven, eight thousand in a week. It just depends on how we go on, how many wrecks we had. But you can look at anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars a month in damages. Um, it's just part of the game. It happens. People have wrecks. People have accidents. So I'm gonna say that's anywhere from five k to ten k a month.
and damages. I mean, doors, lights, dings, doors fall off, door handles break, mirrors get swiped, vans get scraped, top of the roof get cracked. Like, it's so many things that come into body damage, but you can stop this by training your drivers. Safely train your drivers, drug test them when they have an accident. You want only safe drivers on the road, uh, making sure that's happening. So body damage is a big key. Have you a good relationship with a body shop? This can save you a lot of money if you got a good body guy who gonna help you. Um, so make sure you're taking care of paying attention and trying to keep these costs low by training safety. Next, we got cell phone. I got about 70, 80 lines. Right now, I know that's gotta be like five, six K. I'm not even sure for real. I have to look at the bill, but it's, it was high. Five K, let's say five K at least on a phone bill. Which is killing me. I'm in the process of getting that knocked down, but yeah. You gotta have devices, rabbits, or whatever service for your phone, for your drivers, iPads, clock-in machines. I got all kind of things, and that's about your yeah, 5K a month for um, just cell phones and devices and iPads and all kind of stuff like that. So, but you need them. I got Verizon. Get you a corporate account and um, do that. But right now we in the current process of audit. I need to at least cut that in half to like 2,500. Speaking of, you have to get a good like carrier too. You can't just go out and get a mobile and cricket, right? Because you're in absolutely kind of areas. And stuff. We're in rural areas, so I mean you're gonna need a good service provider because if the cell phones don't work out there, if you get a cheap rinky dink little service provider, you're gonna be pissed. Your phone's not gonna work. You have to use offline maps. So make sure you're getting good quality products and everything that you do. Um, it's gonna pay, it might cost more on the front end, but it's gonna take care of you on the long run. Next, gears, pot, supplies. I'm gonna say all this total, three to five K a month. I see your drivers, I mean, or I should say your main people, they always give you a text respectfully because you need it. But I don't know, just some random stuff to order, whether it's shirts, phones, phone yeah. cases, yeah. random stuff for the random. dispatch station. Yeah. Lights, yeah. stuff for the vans, you have to go out and get oil. So yeah. that little stuff just adds, it adds up. up, man. The random stuff nobody thinks about that comes to a business, man. Windshield wiper fluid, transmission fluid, oil, light bulbs, printers, paper for the printers, pens, folder dividers, uh, GoPro cameras. How much random stuff have you seen me order since I've been here? Uniforms, safety vests, hats, shirts. It I'm, seems like you spent 500 on Amazon every week. Yeah, I spend a lot of money, um, but that means it keeps it going. You gotta keep the operation, man. Your business is a, a cash eater. Everybody who has a real business know it keeps eating money and money. It doesn't never top too much eating money. So you gotta make sure you're getting that cash flow right and um, being ready for these things. I mean, you see this, let's say, let's go high. Boom, 100K, 20K, 190, 20. Man, you could easily spend $130,000 a month on stuff that I'm paying before I even pay myself. So imagine that. You got to turn this much revenue. I got to clear over a hundred and something thousand a month just to pay my bills. That's how much bills pay. But um, that's what comes with being a business owner. But how I pay most of my stuff is through an American Express Platinum card. Not the payroll that's coming out of cash, but pretty much everything else I can pay for with my credit card. And if you're a business owner, you want to get you an Amex card. Um, a Sky Miles one or a Platinum card. They give you a lot of rewards on Amazon. If you've seen, you've seen my Amazon account, I get a lot of free points to buy more stuff for the company for free from spending my own money. So you want to get you an MX so you can track it. They're really good at tracking business transactions and linking it to your accountant so she can see all your purchases and do things like that for your taxes. But I recommend the MX Platinum business card. Um, when you're doing that. Also, they're good with fraud, super safe, super secure, um, and they're a great company. So make sure you swiping all this you can on your Amex. Big charges on the Amex. I got a big, I don't know, I probably could swipe for at least 100K, 50, 60, 70, 100K off my card. But you gotta pay the bill at the end of the month. You pay in full, it's a charge card. We not paying the minimum, we paying it off every month. So every month I'm paying over 100 some K on my credit card, getting them points back able to go on trips, buy me some flights, do all those kind of things, buy some stuff off Amazon. So make sure you got, you controlling your expenses and I'm always looking at ways to cut my expenses down lower. Don't think I want my bills to be high. I'm always looking for ways to cut and get it lower. That's the point, that's the job of being a business owner. How can I make this cost less? But yeah, use products such as the Amex Platinum. It's gonna take you, it's gonna infiltrate it, it's gonna automate it, it's gonna systemize all your transactions. You can easily go in and see where you spending your money and cut back and look at the report. So that's expenses. 
That's what you got to look forward to, and we gone, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and join the People First community down below. Thank you for watching. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see in the future. We gone. Oh.